as we get older, comfortable shoes become more and more important. Today, I'm going to be talking about my top five comfortable shoes that I cannot live without. So if that sounds good to you, just keep watching. Hello everyone, welcome. I'm Serena and here on Style with Serena, I focus on how we can look our best and feel our best in our 50s and beyond. I've always loved style and fashion and I don't think that just because we hit a certain age, we have to stop being stylish or wearing what's trendy or in style. I try to take the latest trends and fashions and show you how they can work for us without looking ridiculous. I hope you join me here. We have a great community. So be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't, so you don't miss a thing here on Style with Serena. Now, like many of you, I have foot problems. I have bunions. I have a tendency to get plantar fasciitis. I've had it really bad once, uh, but that was when I was pregnant with my son 10 years ago. Yes, I had a son 10 years ago. And other times it flares up if I don't wear properly supportive and cushioned shoes for long periods of time. Now, of course, I wear heels for events. I have a ton of shoes in my closet for different outfits, different occasions. This video is talking about your everyday must-have shoes, depending on the weather, uh, the temperature, your the climate, that kind of thing. So these are my favorites and let's just get right into it. We are in the throes of winter right now, especially here in the United States where we have had extreme winter weather this December. The whole country has been in a deep freeze, even here in the South in Alabama where I live. So the first category I wanna talk about are boots. And these are my favorites and I'll tell you why. First of all, this pair of Chelsea boots by Belando. I got these over a year ago at Nordstrom and they are some of my absolute most favorite boots. And they are still available in some different colors. This is regular leather. They have a new buck leather that's available now in the black um, and they're on sale. These are originally around $150 or something like that. Right now they're on sale for $79 ish. And the things I love about these are, uh, first of all, they're real leather, not faux leather, but they are waterproof. Blondo does an incredible job of making their boots water resistant or waterproof, even leather and even suede. So if you're looking for a boot that can withstand winter weather, whether it's wet, snow, ice, whatever, these can do it. And they're still a stylish boot and bearing on trend with this Chelsea boot style. And they have the lug sole, so nice traction. And they're very soft on the inside and they're very warm. Now I sized up a half size in these for me so I could wear a nice thick sock and I would recommend doing that. But these are just awesome boots and you can wear these with leggings as you've seen on my channel. I've worn them with jeans. You can even wear these with slacks. So just a super versatile boot that is comfortable. I wore these in New York City. We went in October and one day it was raining and so that's why I brought these because I knew we were going to have some wet weather. And I walked in these all day without any issues whatsoever. And we walked a lot <laughs> every single day we were there. And so these boots performed wonderfully. So I really can't recommend these boots enough. Now you guys know I have lots of boots. I have tall boots, over the knee boots, knee high boots. I've got ankle boots with heels. I've got a lot of boots, but these are my must haves as far as comfort and function. So my other must have is this low top Ugg style boot. This is actually by the brand Bear Paw. This is real suede. And these, whereas the Uggs are, you know, $150, $160 for this style, this in the Bear Paw brand is, I think, 59 
and they are suede the inside it's not 100% shearling like the Uggs, but it is a wool blend. So it is just as warm. I've been wearing these things nonstop this December while it's been so cold because I can just slip my feet in there, don't even have to put socks on, and my feet stay nice and toasty warm. I have even worn these as my house shoes around the house uh, in the past couple of weeks because, you know, it's been chilly in the house, especially on the floor. So these have kept my feet nice and toasty warm and they're cute. You know, you can wear these again with leggings, with jeans, with whatever. You can search online and see lots of outfit ideas right now with these ultra low Ugg style boots. So these a great deal at around $50, $60 and I love these. Highly recommend them for a warm cozy pair of boots. As always, everything that I am mentioning in today's video will be listed in the description box down below. Now to get to that description box, here's a picture kind of what it looks like on your phone if you're viewing this on mobile. And the, the title of the video is right there below the video and you'll see at the end of it, there's three dots and it says more. And I've got it circled here in yellow. So click right there where it says more and the description area will expand and pop open. And then you'll probably have to hit another button that says more to show the full list of items that are in the description. But that is how you get to the links in the description that everybody is always talking about in their videos. And once you click on my links, if you're on a mobile device, it is probably going to pop up and give you a bunch of different options on how to open that link. Be sure to choose the last one that says Default Browser App. If you don't choose Default Browser App, it's just going to take you to the Google and the App Store or it's going to take you to the Google homepage or something like that. So be sure to select Default Browser App. Even though we're in winter, I had to include my favorite summertime shoe. Now this is one that I purchased this past summer in two different color variations. These are very inexpensive and they're from Walmart. And it is this footbed sandal. These are by Time and True. And yes, you can look in here and see how much I wore these this summer. These were my go-to sandals because they really do go with anything. You can wear these with shorts, with little skirts or dresses, with uh, jeans or pants. They really do go with everything. And the footbed design is very comfortable. It's got some arch support in there. And I find that these definitely worked well with my feet. Um, it accommodates my bunions with no pain there. And it's got enough cushion back here in the heel cup area to keep that plantar fasciitis at bay. These little sandals were less than $20. I will have these linked below. I have no idea if they're in stock right now, but you can check. So if you wanna try these and see how you like them, they are very comfortable. Go ahead and try out the ones from Walmart. Highly recommend. And, um, but then if you already know you like these and are looking for some Birkenstocks, I'll have those linked down below. The next shoe that's a must-have in my book is some kind of flat and a flat that can be dressed up or dressed down. And my favorite flats are these by the brand Vivaya or Vivea. These are similar to the brand uh, Rothy's. If you're familiar with those, you probably are because they advertise online constantly. Um, these are a similar product. They're made from recycled plastic bottles. They have a patented four-way stretch to the fabric and they have an extra wide toe box area here on their shoes to accommodate bunions. So if you look at this shoe, it doesn't look wide, so it's not a wide shoe all over. Just this part right here. So for someone like me who has bunions, this is a godsend. So I can wear comfy, cute shoes like this little ballerina flat 
that has kind of an almond shaped toe, which is really nice because it's not pointy, but it's not round either. It's just kind of in between, so it's classic. It's always going to be in style. And they have insoles that come out, and then you can wash these shoes in the washing machine and hang them up to dry. I have these in black and also in um, kind of a nude color. And they are wonderful. They have great cushion in the bottom. I wore these around my house all day on Christmas Day. And I was on my feet pretty much all day in the kitchen and just all that stuff. And my back didn't bother me. My heels didn't bother me. The support in here is really nice. And it has this cushion at the back of your heel. It's padded right here. So you don't have that digging in. So there's like no break-in time whatsoever on these shoes. It's like you just put them on and wear them and go. And they just fit so nicely. They feel so good. And they have a lot of really fun patterns and colors and styles. Just something for everybody. But if you're looking for a comfortable flat that you can dress up or dress down, this would be my suggestion. And I will have it linked down below as well. Hey, are you enjoying this video? If you are, be sure to give it a thumbs up and click on that red subscribe button if you haven't already. That way you won't miss out on any future content here on my channel and the posts I make over on the community tab. Often I will post outfit ideas, sale alerts, and just photos of my everyday life and things like that over on the community tab here on YouTube. And if you subscribe to my channel, those things will automatically pop up in your YouTube feed. Also, please consider joining me over on Instagram. I'm Style with Serena over there, and I post daily over there. Outfit ideas, outfit inspiration, what I'm wearing that day. I do reels over there, which are little short videos that are fun. So a lot of different content, and often you'll see things sooner on Instagram than you do here on YouTube. So be sure to follow me over there also, and on the free Like to Know It app. That's where all your favorite influencers, including me, post all the outfit ideas that we show here on YouTube, on Instagram, and everywhere else. They're all out there on that LTK app, and it makes it so easy for you to scroll through, look at all our different outfits and ideas and sale alerts and everything in one place with clickable, shoppable links. So be sure, follow me on Instagram and like to know it. Next up in my must-have, can't live without shoe category, are a great pair of athletic shoes. These are, as you can see by New Balance, these are the shoes I wear when I'm exercising, when I'm walking, uh, if I'm going to an amusement park and I know I'm gonna be on my feet all day long, these are the shoes I'm wearing. These feel like walking on pillows. <laughs> they are so wonderful. And a little story about these, these are by New Balance, and uh, they are the Fresh Foam More. That's the name of this style, More. I think it's M-O-R-R. -R. But it's got a super thick foam sole here. And when I bought these, I was actually looking at a pair of Hoka's, which Hoka's are fantastic shoes, too. They didn't have a color I liked and the Hoka style that I liked. And so I tried it on, and I liked it a lot, but I just didn't like the colors. And the sales lady there said, why don't you try these by New Balance? And I put this on, and then I put the Hoka on my other foot and walked in them both like that. And these were actually more comfortable than the Hoka's. So I ended up buying these, and they have been phenomenal. I've had these for about six months. It's probably time to look into getting a new pair because sneakers do wear down and the cushion becomes less cushiony <laughs> over time. So if you're walking a lot, which that's my number one mode of exercise these days is walking, you do need to invest in a new pair of shoes depending on how many miles you're, you're putting on them. So every three to six months, depending on how much you're jogging or walking or running, 
you need to get a new pair of shoes. But these were not cheap. These uh, were in the $150, $160 range, I want to say. But again, when you're looking at an athletic performance shoe, it really does matter how much you spend on quality shoes. I got these at a local store called Fleet Feet, but they are available online and I will be sure to link these down below. And I am wearing my regular size in these, didn't size up or anything. And these are not wide. They're just, they run a little bit wider. So um, I was able to get these in a regular width and they fit my feet and my bunions great. So if you have a little bit wider foot, but don't maybe you don't need a wide shoe just a little bit wider this is going to be a great option for you hey i am preparing a video for the new year where you guys can ask me anything we haven't done one of these in a while and i have several hundred or thousand new subscribers here recently and so i thought it would be a good time at the new beginning of the year to do a new ask me anything video so be sure to leave your comments or your questions rather down in the comment section anything you want to know about me about youtube about you know my family job just anything leave a comment down below and i will do a video at answering all your questions this next shoe is another one that if you've been watching my channel for any length of time you're no stranger to this shoe I just picked it up a few months ago, but it quickly became one of my very favorite shoes. This is a sneaker, but it falls more into that fashion sneaker category. However, it is a performance shoe. It's made 100% in Italy, and yes, it's pricey, but man, you can just feel the quality when you put these shoes on. And that is my P448 sneakers. And let's see the P448 on the back. That's the brand. Yes, I know that these are metallic leather and kind of flashy, but they're not all like that. They have very basic looking sneakers as well. So I will link, link the website and you can shop and look and see what, what you like. But these I bought uh, before we went to New York because I wanted a shoe that w would be super comfortable but not you know the clunkier athletic shoe like my New Balances so I put these to the test I wore these all over New York I wore them every day except for uh, the day that I wore these boots and my feet never hurt my back never hurt I didn't have the heel pain, nothing. These are so supportive because lots of times these little fashion sneakers that look like this, they are very lacking in support, but these are not. They've got arch support. They've got cushion in the heel. They are just made incredibly well. And I had never heard of this brand before I got them, but I am sold on them now. And I am looking to get another pair for the spring in a white or an off-white leather. Okay, it's time for my number one shoe that I can't live without. It is the most comfortable thing in my closet. I wear these every day around my house. I basically use these as my slippers unless it's too cold in the house and then I'll wear something a little bit warmer. But I do wear these every day because we have wood floors throughout most of the house and standing on wood floors and tile really takes a toll. I can't go barefoot uh, in the house because of my foot issues. So these are what I slip into practically, you know, every morning once I get out of bed, these go on my feet. And that is the this pair of flip-flops by Ufo. Ufos. Yeah, it's Ufos. <laughs> um, this particular model is called the Ooh La La by Ufos. And it's just this thong sandal. And these are a recovery sandal. So this is what you put on your feet to like re-energize and re-restore your feet after a long day of standing, walking, running, whatever you've been doing, just mistreating your feet, had on uncomfortable shoes. 
this is what you put on to recover. Or in my case, you just put them on every day and wear them around the house. And I even wear them out in the summertime when it's warm. I wear these to the pool, I wear these wherever. And they are expensive for flip-flops. This pair is $75. But once again, you get what you pay for. And these are just like heaven for your feet. I've had these for two or three years and I mean, the tread is still good on the bottom. Um, the footbed here, you're just barely starting to see a little bit where I'm wearing it down. And I literally wear these every day. So they're very durable. It's just all one piece of molded foamy plastic. So there's like nothing to break or, or pull out here. It's just all one molded piece. So I love these so much. This is my number one item in my closet that I can't live without these UFOs. Ooh la la thong sandals. So there you have it. Those are my top picks for shoes I personally can't live without. And I hope you got some good information from this video. And please comment down below and let me know what your favorite comfy shoes are. Because I'm always on the hunt for some awesome comfortable shoes. So if you have some that you absolutely love that I didn't mention today, be sure to leave me a comment and let me know what they are, are what they are so I can check them out. And until I see you guys in my next video, have a stylish day. Bye-bye.